What is going on everyone? In this video I have a very special treat for you. I'm going to show you how to install the official Sound Engine Mod 10 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE for the Rogers network and for the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for the AT&T network. Uh, the exact model, the two model numbers this uh, installation method is compatible with will be in the description below. Your phone must match one of those two model numbers and to find out your phone model hit go to the phone system settings go all the way down to about phone and right under model number that's where yours is yours must match one of the two in the description below uh, I'm gonna show you how to install this ROM there's two different methods there's the easy method which isn't too stable I wouldn't trust it too much and there's a manual method which I personally prefer it's a lot more stable um, so the warning, basically by attempting to flash this ROM, you'll be doing so at your own risk because if something goes wrong, you could permanently damage your device. Every link I'll be referencing will be in the description below. So please, what you do is pause the video at this point, read the entire description for any updates that I make because I can only put them in the description. Read the entire description, once you're done, unpause this video and continue watching, okay? Um, back up your phone because everything will be deleted only your apps and data your pictures music and stuff will be fine but your apps and data will be erased if you want to know how to back that up there's a link in the description below your phone must be rooted and you must have clockwork mod recovery installed uh, depending on which version of Android you're running whether it's gingerbread or ice cream sandwich I'll have a, a video on that in the description below I just don't have a root method for AT&T users running gingerbread if you're running ice cream sandwich at t users, I have that. Just read the description below and you'll know exactly what uh, um, is compatible with your device. Okay. Furthermore, uh, if you have any trouble with this installation method, please do not ask me. I am not a developer. If you want help, ask the Sanage Mod team by signing up on their forums. And I'm going to be showing you how to install the experimental version of Sanage Mod 10 because it just released today. If in the future they release a stable version or release candidate version, which is like pretty good for day-to-day -day use, the installation instructions are still compatible with what you see in this video. The reason being is because Sanage Mod team always keeps their instructions the same. So even when there's a, a stable version of Sanage Mod 10 out, you can still follow the instructions in this video, except you just download the stable version of the file. Okay, so I'll show you that in just a moment, so don't worry about it. So to start off, I'm gonna show you how to install the ROM the easy way. What you're gonna do is go to Google Play, download an app called ROM Manager. The uh, link to this app will be in the description below. Once it's installed, you open it up. Uh, the first time you open it up, it might give you a warning. You have to install Clockwork Mod Recovery or something like that, or it's gonna ask you your phone model. Hit Skyrocket. Even if you're a Rogers user, hit Skyrocket, okay? Because our devices are almost the same as the AT&T Skyrocket. As you can see, I'm running a Rogers version. I did it, it works just fine. Um, then you're gonna hit download ROM. If you're doing this for the first time, it might say you need to update Clockwork Mod Recovery. Even if you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, it's gonna try to over overlap it and it will. All right, so I used to have Touch Recovery. This stupid app, I didn't know it was gonna do it. it. It turned it into Button Recovery. Not a big deal, but it's a little frustrating, but whatever. So, you're gonna see, uh, when you hit download ROM, you're gonna see a whole bunch of developers listed here. And if you go to Signage and Mod Nightlies, that's where the experimental versions are stored. So as you can see, there's Signage and Mod 10 because it's still an experimental version. If you go back to the main list and hit regular Signage and Mod, this is where these stable versions are kept and the release candidate. They're, these are the ones that are like really stable. And as you can see, Signage and Mod 9 is here because it's a bit older and it works better. So all you do at this point is select whatever ROM you want, which I showed. Come on. Sometimes this app is so slow. Uh, tap on it. Download it. It's going to ask you, do you want to wipe Dalvik cache and cache a partition? Check mark yes. It's going to ask, do you want to back up your ROM? Hit yes. Um, and then it's going to ask you, do you want to install G apps or Google apps? Hit yes. Okay. Um, like I said, I went through those instructions really quickly because that app installation method is very straightforward, but I'm going to show you the manual method. So what you need to do for the manual method is go to this website, which will be in the description below. Look for the version you want. I'm going to be doing Signage Mod 10 nightly because this is the latest version. It's the only Signage Mod 10 available for a device on October 5th. Uh, like I said, in the future, if you want a stable version, if you see uh, CM10, like Signage Mod 10, and it says RC, which is Release Candidate, or Stable, Yo, download that file because it'll be better. Um, so this is the only part that's different if in the future they update Signage and Mod 10, which they most likely will. Everything else, the instructions are the same. And then what you need to do is go to this web page, uh, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, as I already have. Look for Signage and Mod 10. 
download it onto your computer, connect your phone to your uh, computer. It's nothing complicated. You just take your USB cord, plug it into your device. That's it. Uh, copy and paste the two zip files you just downloaded. Put it on the internal memory or if you have external, whatever, uh, of your device. Then what you need to do is uh, power off. We're going to boot the device into recovery, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Basically, your device has to be off, and what's going to happen is, I believe this is the same for at and users. I'm not sure. If, if it doesn't work, just Google it. You'll, you'll find it. I'm a Rogers user. Just keep that in mind, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. So my phone's currently powered off. What you need to do is hold, press and hold both volume buttons at the same time, and hold the power button, all three buttons at the same time. So let me demonstrate. I'm going to press and hold the volume buttons right now, Still holding it, and I'm holding the power button. When the phone vibrates, let go of the power button. They are vibrated, but I'm still holding the volume buttons, okay? Let it do its thing, it's powering up, come on. I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. Finally, holy cow. Man, my phone's a little sluggish today. Okay, so this is Clockwork Mod Recovery. It's not touch recovery because I lost it. If you have touch, you can actually tap the the, the options and it'll do it but I have button to navigate button recovery volume buttons are up and down to select an option press the power button okay okay so in recovery what we're gonna do is navigate to wipe data factory reset select it go all the way down to yes if you're using touch recovery you might have to scroll down the screen and then select yes uh, this is the point of no return in which your data will be erased it's erasing the data now um, I'm gonna do some of these steps twice just to make sure that the data is actually fully wiped from the phone. Uh, wipe data factory reset. Yes. This way it ensures that um, everything has actually been deleted properly and when you install the ROM there's, there's no errors from the, the previous ROM you're using carried over to Signage Mod 10. Okay, so it's just a precaution. You don't have to do it twice, I, I personally recommend it. It's only a few extra seconds. Uh, what you're gonna do then is wipe cache partition Again, go down to yes. This is rather fast. Wipe cache partition. <sighs> Okie dokie. Uh, okay, so now, now we're going to go into installing the ROM. So what we're going to do is install zip from SD card, select it. Now, this is the part, um, okay, if, if you have an ex external SD card, you're just going to choose the top option, which is, say, choose zip from SD card. If you have the, the two zip files I told you to download on the internal memory, which is also called the internal SD card, you're going to go choose zip from internal SD card, select it, and you can see a whole bunch of directories. Uh, this is actually it's probably faster to go up back in a circle. Yeah, so essentially you're going to go back to the bottom of the list. You're going to see a whole bunch of directories. These direct these directories rather is what's on your internal memory or external SD card, all right? So you can ignore that. You're going to look for CM10. Whether you have the stable version or whatnot, it's usually going to say CM10- whatever the date it was uploaded on um, this website. Okay? So you're going to hit CM10. You're going to select that. Go down to yes. Now, this installation part will take a few minutes. Uh, I just wanted to point out while I was doing this, I want to quickly mention to you guys that usually I make a demo video of a ROM when I install it. This is the one time I will not be making a demo video um, as of this date, which is October 5th of what, 2012. Simply because I'm installing the very, very first version of Engine Mod 10. It's still early experimental version. It's going to have a lot of bugs. In the future, when they have a release candidate version or... Um, a stable version then I'll make a demo video and if you want to find out if I did like if you're watching this in the future obviously just go to the description below and if you see something like demo of Synergy Mod 10 stable or, or release candidate watch that video but for now it's just too early so there's no point uh, okay so it's done you're gonna go back to the same screen you're gonna choose your installation source from mine's the internal memory so I'm gonna choose zip from internal SD card you go down to the bottom of the list again. This time you're going to select gapps-jb. Uh, okay, this is where the Google Apps are. The second zip file you should have downloaded with Google Play, uh, Gmail, and whatnot. Hit yes, install it, and once it's done, we'll continue from there. Okay, so it's finished uh, installing gapps. You're going to go back to the screen automatically. You're going to go down and select go back. You're going to go back to the main menu of Clockwork Mod Recovery, and you're going to select reboot system now. Um, 
at this point, is it's just gonna restart and boot up. The first time you install CyanogenMod Mod 10, whether it be nightly, uh, release candidate, or stable, whenever you're installing a ROM for the first time, the, the startup time is usually like four to five minutes because your system is getting used to it. This is the new boot animation. I'm not gonna show the entire startup of, of the ROM. Uh, okay, so like I said, it took me about four to five minutes for the phone to start up. Uh, I just wanted to prove to you guys I'm actually running it now. So I'm gonna go to the phone system settings. Uh, about phone. At the beginning, it's going to tell you inst uh, log in your Gmail account. That that's normal. Um, so okay, I have SGH i seven two seven. It's it, that's the um, a Skyrocket model. Even though I have the Rogers version of the device, you can't really see. Yeah, you can see the logo kind of. Uh, that's because this ROM is based off the Skyrocket. So if you have a if you have a Rogers version, don't worry. The the R is missing at the end, but it's not a big deal. Android four point one point one. Uh, where are you? Signage mod 10. Okay, so I just wanted to prove to you guys. Oh, there. Whoa. Okay, I, I didn't know. Um, I guess Signage mod has included their own little Easter egg feature. Huh, I didn't know they do that. Well, I just want to prove to you guys that it works. Um, so that's pretty much it. So like I said, in the future, uh, if they if they release more stable versions, the instructions are exactly the same. Just make sure you read the correct version you want. It's all up to you. Okay. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button. It really does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.